examining individual responsibility, the trust placed in agencies, and the harrowing accounts from eyewitnesses at the Trump rally shooting reveals deep complexities. And watch the and listen to the rally, right? We couldn't see them, but we could hear them. So we walked up in probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed a guy crawling arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. He, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two, three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? 100%. 100%. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Could you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh, yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service just, blew his head off. Okay, we just be careful because we don't know quite who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy. Absolutely, 100%. Okay, okay. yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep, yep. Okay, yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. The imperative of personal vigilance for public safety cannot be overstated. Criticism of the Secret Service's inefficiency and the sluggish response of law enforcement highlights a perceived failure of institutional duties, underscoring the urgent need for robust security measures. The core values of law, order, and the protection of public figures drive this analysis, emphasizing the necessity for well-prepared security protocols to thwart future threats. Eyewitness accounts including those of Alabama Governor George Wallace, provide a vivid narrative of the incident. Wallace and his companions experienced profound helplessness and frustration as they attempted to alert authorities to the imminent danger. This underscores the crucial role of individual awareness and the devastating impact of being dismissed by those in power. The terror and anxiety evoked by witnessing violent acts starkly illuminate the fragility of human life and safety. The psychological toll on both witnesses and the broader public is immense. Witnesses grapple with fear, helplessness, and frustration, feeling that their attempts to avert tragedy were ignored by authorities. This can lead to long-lasting mistrust in law enforcement and government agencies. For the general public, such events breed anxiety and concern over safety at political gatherings, contributing to a pervasive atmosphere of fear and distrust in society. Public perception of the event reflects a shaken trust in agencies like the Secret Service and law enforcement, viewed through the lens of delayed responses and perceived negligence. These incidents can polarize public opinion, with different political factions interpreting the events according to their biases. Some call for stronger law enforcement, while others see it as a failure of existing security protocols. Leadership plays a critical role in addressing the aftermath. The statements and actions of political leaders like Joe Biden and Donald Trump significantly influence public perception and trust. Effective communication from leaders is vital to reassure the public and demonstrate a commitment to enhancing security measures. Transparency about failures and concrete steps to prevent future incidents are essential for restoring public trust.